Hello everyone, Darkblane here, back playing some more AFK Arena. And in this video, I want to look at uh, Awaken Izzy's skills engraving, and yeah, I just want to look at him in the Arena of Trials. Okay, so, uh, based on first looks, he looks so cool. Yeah, he just the tentacles coming up behind him, it looks like, yeah, he just looks very cool. So yeah, Aziz here is still a Hypogean hero. Uh, he is an intelligence-based hero. He's going to be a, a mage class this time, and his primary role is continuous damage. So yeah, can't wait to see that continuous damage there. Okay, let's start with his ultimate skill, uh, Nightmare's Descent. Uh, Aziz produces a Nightmare Shockwave that deals damage equal to 280% of his attack rating to all enemies, rendering their ultimate skills unusable for 2 seconds. The Shockwave causes the battlefield to be transformed into a hellish nightmare for 10 seconds. Aziz is unable to recover energy while the battlefield is transformed into a hellish nightmare, but he will produce a nightmare shockwave once every 4 seconds. Uh, level 2, Aziz gains 10 haste points for every enemy that is in a state of insanity while the battlefield is transformed into a hellish nightmare. And level 3, Aziz produces an additional Nightmare Shockwave each time an ally uses their ultimate skill while the battlefield is transformed into a Hellish Nightmare. Effect can be triggered up to two times. So Aziz will produce Hellish uh, Shockwave, or Nightmare Shockwave, and it will, use, it will uh, render all ultimate skills unusable for two seconds, all enemies uh, ultimate skills unusable. And then the shockwave will cause the battlefield to be transformed into the hellish nightmare. So that that sounds really cool. I can't wait to see this ultimate skill in action. Okay, the second skill, Depths of Darkness. At the start of battles, Aziz causes an enemy mirroring his own position to fall into a, hell, a nightmare state up until they receive damage equal to 40% of their max health or 10 seconds have passed. Uh, level 2 Passive. When Z suffers from a control effect, the damage he receives over the following 6 seconds is reduced by 10%. Level 3 is another passive. When Z suffers from a control effect, the damage he receives over the following 6 seconds is reduced by 16%. Level 4, after resisting a control effect due to tenacity or immunity, the same effect stated above shall occur, but with a 50% reduced duration. And level 5, when Aziz suffers from a control effect, the source of the effect is put into a nightmare state up until they, they receive damage equal to 6 of their max health or 20%. Or 20. Hold on, I, I think that is uh, a typo. I think that's supposed to be equal to 20% of their max health or 6 seconds have passed. This effect may only be triggered once every 5 seconds. Yeah, I think, I think that's a typo. I think those two uh, numbers are supposed to be switched around. And he, yeah, Aziz will uh, cause the enemy mirroring him to go into a nightmare state. So that sounds pretty cool. Uh, the third skill, Mind Flay. Aziz uses an Abyssal Tentacle to deal AoE damage to enemies equal to 260% of his attack rating. That also drains their sanity, forcing them into a state of insanity for 8 seconds. All enemies that are insane lose 12 tenacity points and all allied heroes gain 6 tenacity points. Now level 2, enemies that are currently in a state of insanity are additionally terrified for 2.5 seconds uh, if their sanity is drained again. Level 3, if an enemy is in a state of insanity when they are dealt damage from Aziz, the following damage dealt to them from Aziz is increased by 6% per attack up until 24% is reached. This stack damage bonus shall be reset when the insanity effect wears off. So he will use an Abyssal Tentacle to deal AoE damage and it will put them into a state of insanity. And then they'll lose tenacity and allies will gain tenacity from that. So that, that sounds pretty cool. I, I like the I like him using his tentacles in one of his skills. That sounds really cool. And the skill here, Nightmare Arc. Aziz focuses nightmare energy and unleashes it on an enemy target, dealing damage equal to 260% of his attack rating to them, also stunning them for one second. 
if the enemy target is successfully stunned, the effects of the nightmare energy are transferred to a new enemy target who will suffer the same damage and effects as before. The energy transfer effect will continue targeting new enemies up until an enemy resists the attack or the enemy is successfully transferred six times. If this skill is used when the battlefield has been transformed into a hellish nightmare, the nightmare energy will always be transferred the maximum of number of times. Level 2 enemy targets also lose 20 energy points when stunned, and level 3 each time nightmare energy is transferred to a target in a state of insanity, the damage caused by following energy transfers is increased by 15% of Aziz's attack rating, and will also cause enemy targets to enter a state of insanity. So, he will focus his nightmare energy on an enemy and it will stun them, and then if the target is stunned, the effects of the nightmare energy will be transferred to a new enemy target, and it will just do that until an enemy resists the nightmare energy, or then the nightmare energy will be is successfully transferred six times. So, is, th these skills seem a little complicated. These skills, these skills definitely seem complicated. They have a lot going on in them. Okay, so looking at this one, uh, Dream Veil, this is a passive ability. After every 10 seconds of battle, Aziz enters a dream state that allows him to become immune to all damage and control effects for 8 seconds. While in a dream state, Aziz is able to normally cast his skills and he gains 20 haste points, while his damage is increased by 25%. Each time Aziz enters a dream state, the amount of time needed to enter it again is increased by 4 seconds, and the amount of time he stays in a dream state is decreased by 2 seconds, but will not be fewer than 4 seconds. Each time an allied hero successfully resists control effects due to their tenacity, the amount of time needed for Aziz to enter a dream state again is reduced by 0.5 seconds. So at every 10 seconds of the battle, Aziz will enter a dream state and he'll become immune to all damage. And the time that he's able to go into this dream state will uh, decrease and yeah, he'll gain 20 haste points. So that sounds, that sounds uh, pretty powerful. And I believe if I remember correctly, the signature item and furniture are based on the skills. Um, yeah, this, this looks familiar here. Upgrade skill Depths of Darkness level. Yeah, this looks familiar. So yeah, I, I don't think I need to go through the, the skills and furniture. Or the signature item and furniture, I mean. And looking at this one. Uh, yeah, this, this looks familiar. So I, I will not be going over those. And I believe I went, I believe I went over the engraving as well in the skills. I believe the engraving was also there. We'll see. Uh, enemy targets also lose 20 energy points when stunned, and each time enemy is transferred to nightmare energy is transferred to a target. Yeah, I, I believe I've seen this before. Okay, let's go over to the Arena of Trials. Let's see how well he performs in here. Okay, here we are. I'm going to start with the wooden dummy first. And yeah, let's, let's just see how well he uh, performs. It looks like they're putting him in the back line, so he might he might be a backline hero. He he looks like a tank though. He has he has the build of a tank, but he's a mage hero. And there's his ultimate ability. Oh! Oh that that looks so cool. Oh my gosh. The, oh wow. That ultimate ability looks amazing. That that looks so cool. Actually, I, I want to see him do that ultimate ability again, because that looked amazing. And there it is again. It changes the entire, it changes the entire uh, design of the battlefield. I actually like that. I like the look of the stars in the sky. That that's that's amazing. If the if the battlefield could look like that the entire time, I would love this game a lot more. I I, I love this game a lot. But if but if the battle but if the battlefield could look like this all the time, I would love this game a lot more. That looks amazing, and he's able to take down uh, the enemies pretty quickly here. It looks like. Yeah, yeah. The uh, ultimate ability does a lot of damage. Yeah, he's he looks like he's able to do quite a bit of damage here. Yeah, it looks like he's doing pretty continuous damage based on his roll. 
So that looks really cool. I really like that. Okay, so moving on to the Arena of Guardian, let's see what heroes they provide us for this Arena of this Arena Guardian. And yeah, his animation of him just sitting there, the red coming up from the ground, that looks really cool. So they had him in the back line here. Uh, I guess we can use Arthur and let's put in let's just put in three hypogene heroes for that uh, bonus and what's another hero I can put in here I guess I guess let's put in Thali. I mean they they're really giving us mostly maulers here okay let's see how well this does here see how well uh, this team performs uh, the, uh, Arthur's gonna be a pretty good tank up there and hopefully uh, hopefully Thali will become immune here. Uh, Frampton already took out Shamira, so Shamira's already gone. And it looks like Isabella's already gone there as well. Already took already took out two of the enemy heroes. And uh, yeah, uh, Pharrell just turned purple there. And there goes the there goes uh, Aziz's ultimate ability there. That that still looks that looks amazing. I really I really like that. I really I, I definitely like that. It looks like Frampton died there, but and Frampton and Kazard died there. Uh, hope we can take down uh, Oden here. Okay, we we took down Oden, and I I hope we have this one here. It looks like our Arthur's about to die, but I hope we have this one. It's just Grizzel has those minions coming up there. It's just uh, distracting us. And also his shields there as well. This looks like this one looks like this one Grizzle's gonna win here. I'm I'm not really focused on winning this battle though. I I just want to see the uh, stats there. Yeah, I just want to see the stats. And uh, the Z is doing uh, a lot of damage. 6.36 million damage. No healing. None, none of his skills, I believe, don't have any healing. So, yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah, it looks like he did pretty well, though. Looks like he did pretty well. We just had Grizzle left to take down. So that that was pretty cool. Uh, overall, my, my thoughts on him, I think he'll... I think he's gonna... Hopefully he's gonna do pretty well. Yeah, it's, his skills are pretty complicated, so we'll just have to see how well he does in the campaign. Yeah, he looks really cool, and yeah, I, I hope he does really well so I can go ahead and uh, build him. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe. There'll be a button above my head that will allow allow you to do that. And if you want to see some more of my other videos, there'll be some videos to the left of your screen. And thanks for watching.